Jomtosh here and this video is mainly focused on a tweak called home gesture and I've pretty much given out the name I tried to keep the name secret for like till half the video and the last one well yeah this is a tweak that is going to be replacing little x for me it should it may replace little x for you as well but yeah little x was a good step up from fluidity and now we have a tweak called home gesture and home gesture is pretty cool so as you can see i've got like floaty dock as part of home gesture that's really awesome but yeah we'll just go through the um features of home gesture but before i do that i'm just going to like show you and demonstrate how home gesture works so with home gesture you get the iphone 10 feature so like sliding up for home there we go and sliding down from the right corner to access your control center so that's still the same and let's just go into the settings so this is what the home gesture preference pane looks like and we'll just go through the um, features of home gesture now so on the status bar you can actually put the um, iphone 10 status bar this is something you could do on little legs i wasn't a fan of it because my screen is pretty small so i just leave that apart from my setup you can hide the status bar carrier which is another thing you can do in miss settings I should have mentioned these settings enough times for you guys to know what it is now. And remove CC gap, so this big huge gap up here, it does that, it removes the gap if you're not a fan of it. Just enter low power mode there. And breadcrumbs, you can disable breadcrumbs, so you know how you go into another app from another app and it shows you like to go back in the top left corner, right there, you can disable breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs, bread, breadcrumbs and you can press home for siri so if you're not a fan of like double tapping your home button for siri or you can press home for siri which is pretty cool and you can also swipe up to close so that should be very familiar to you guys especially if you're not on the iphone 10 but yeah on the iphone 10 you have to like hold and then swipe up so you can just get rid of that completely swipe up to close and hints you can disable the hint on the lock screen so right here, I don't have the swipe up to unlock text that usually pops up. So you can disable that. That's pretty cool. And the control center hint, I don't think I've seen this one before. I'll allow you to read that. I don't think I need to read that. And on the lock screen, so you can hide the torch button, you can hide the camera button. You can hide the page dots as well. So on the lock screen that is. So I'm pretty sure you guys saw it, but I'm just going, I'm just going to show it again. So there's the... Um, page dots button on the lock screen and yeah I usually do this a lot when you're like trying to scroll up but yeah and yeah so um that's another thing with um home gesture is that when you want to go home you can actually pull up this it's like the um, iPad dock which is pretty cool so you can quickly go into your previous app and I really like that and the next thing you can do is put on the home bar on the home screen put it on on the lock screen and you can customize the home bar color to any color you want at all though it was usually another tweak i used to do this where you can do this with home gesture and you can disable gestures with the keyboard because when you're pressing the space bar it's actually really annoying so you're trying to press space and then it's thinking you want to like pull and go home really annoying sometimes but yeah you can do that and i don't know why i don't have it disabled but yeah that's what you can do with that and you can blacklist apps as well just like little x so for those of you who've been asking me how do i stop this app from being too big well that was the solution on little x i'm pretty sure that if you have the problem with home gesture you can just blacklist the app or if you basically just don't want home gesture in the app you can blacklist it as well so that's pretty cool and that's it for home gesture pretty short video but home gesture is now the new little x and how many times can something be better than the other because i was like little x better than fluidity now we're at home gesture better than little x is something going to come next anyway that's it from me and hopefully i see you guys in the next one yom tosh here signing out